All right, see, um, I did this, the same piece, and I taped both sides, and then I cut it, cut it to line with the top, and then I did the same for here. I'll, I am going to cut this, and this as well, so, yeah. So that's what I have so far for this piece. See, it's not that hard, but I mean, you can't always go over it with the paper again, if you want, right. or if you I want, you I didn't have any more space on the film, so yeah. See? And then voila, this is it. And this now. But I mean, if you want to cover it, I don't have any more cartridge paper, sorry. I was not really prepared to do this video. Because I had work, so therefore I couldn't buy everything. But you could get the cartridge paper, right? And um, you just outline. Alright, when you outline this, you cut out the, the middle piece here. So in that way, when you cover it, like, cause you do it like this. Alright, so if this is a, a larger parch paper, you'd actually bend both pieces to cover the, the parch, cover the piece. But with the line, you can tell, um, see it like this. Alright, draw the line in there. Alright, you can cut it before, it doesn't matter. And then you put this over. So when you glue it, and then you probably like use the side and probably use a tape or a glue. It depends on what you want to do. And then, because it depends on how you hold the sword, you can have it like the tape part would be on the inside. So it wouldn't show. You know, like when you hold it, I guess, whatever facing the audience or whatever. So you could do it that way, and um, yeah, and then you just simply had to cut out the front, the back piece, and you know you'll be real, you'll be fine. And then afterwards, you can like spray paint. Did they, they have a silver paint? Um, you can use to spray, to spray. So you could do that, or you can buy. Um, I think I could be wrong. They have silver paint. I think so. I don't remember. And you can paint it instead. But with the silver spray, I think it would be better. They kind of have like a sheen, you know, when you spray the sword. Yeah, I think that would be better, you know. But depending on what you want or what you can afford, you know. Uh, it would be even better if probably, if you want, you can get a, a gray cartridge paper. If you really not, you really don't want to spend any money, you know. So, okay, I'm going to start doing the handle. Because for now, this is what I'm going to leave it as. Because I have no more cartridge paper. And see. But you can get kind of get an idea of what I'm going for. Um, possibly I will do an update version when I, I put the complete piece. As in, like, you know, covered and everything like that. But for now, it's going to stay like this. This piece, this is for the handle. Um, I got it from the same box. Cut the side of the flap. And it seems to be um, the right size. Um, let's see. Yeah, it seems to be about the right size because if, um, depending again on how big you make your sword, you know, but I don't think it's supposed to be that big because you carry on a back. So, you know. If, if you want, you can always try and like measure, like estimate like how big you'd want it. Cause if you're going to make the, the sheet as well, I think you should probably measure, you know, at least get, get an idea how big you'd want the sword to be across your back. Alright? So, I mean, if not, then if you just carry it in your hand, well, you know, it doesn't really matter, right? So, okay. So, I'm going to do, actually... I know some people probably you won't, you can't really draw that well, but um, I think it's necessary. But try center the the sword in the middle, right? And I'm going to like I kind of know. Well, I, you know, if you can't draw, then probably you know you could do. Um, if you have a printer, you could probably um, get a picture of the the handle I don't know if you need it by itself but if you can 
I, you know, you can print out like a big one on a paper and then like cut out and put on the cardboard to see how big exactly. You can get the idea. You know, if the paper doesn't fit, then you can probably use it as a guide to draw, to draw the design for the handle. So uh, I mean, here it's kind of complicated because there's like a three ring at the end. All right, I'm going to draw the thing now. All right, well, you know, like I said before, um, I kind of have an estimate. Like for me, I mean, if you want to use a real ruler, that's fine. So you can kind of get the idea how big you exactly you'd want it. Um, for me, because she started out with like three rings, right? Probably should do the middle first. Okay. I'm sorry if this is not the best video. <laughs> this is my first video and I will actually give this thought. Alright, you see where I have I have this in the center, right? Okay. Yeah. So that's in the center and I have an idea how the sword looks, so uh, and then there's a line there. And then the end of her sword, I mean her handle is like it's a line. And then there's three things. Help like a if you want help how to draw, you could think of like a a dog, you know the paw hands like in cartoons I guess. I mean it doesn't look exactly like this, but you can get the idea. Oh, well, it's not aligned. Try get it as even as you can, so it doesn't look weird, you know, when you're cutting it. Hopefully, maybe I could make this a larger, right? Probably make this larger, just so it fit, you know, fill up the whole board, cardboard, so I don't give um give me less thing to cut. And then the same, I will do the same thing with on that side. So if you want, this is one thing you could probably measure on. I'm doing everything freehand, but you can kind of measure like how you want the line. You don't want the hands to come out lean. So it probably looks kind of lean from where you, your your view, but actually the cardboard is cut by so that's the one. Um, okay, mommy. Then, see, so yeah, I kind of get the idea where this is supposed to go. So I'm, I'm about right, actually. And then I'll do the same thing here. And I can move this. I kind of have an idea what I want. So see. Eh, it's not that bad, right? And then the same thing. I mean, the same thing you want to measure this, but again, I'm not really doing this to be perfect, because this is just my own, my... I mean, probably I should then, if it's mine. I mean, not other people to do it, right? This is the finished outline, okay. quite. Um... You can see it's pretty sketchy. I didn't really, yeah, because when I, I'm going to obviously add a paint or spray over it, so the lines won't show. So don't worry about the line. This is how you do it. You cut, you just try to cut as close as you can to the piece. Um, for this, I should say, I should um, before you cut anything, like when you're making the outline, I think if you really want to make it like legit, like. Um, to have it so you can put your finger through I think you should measure it with a ring like your ring and then um, see like this mine is not that great because again like I said I'm not really going to use this this is what I'm using this as an example you know in, in the anime she used to push her finger through like to for her sword so um, instead I think you could measure it for your finger so you know, so you probably if you want to do the same thing, I don't know. So you could do it that way. And then um, you know, 
you'd make the circle at least large enough so it won't be you know it wouldn't tear easy like when you cut in the hole see cause look at that the outside it's really small right it's not that much space so um I would recommend cutting it to this size I'm not going to like but yeah so when you use the ring you know any size whatever your finger size is and then you can just like cut it so you can put your fingers through I mean, you could hold it like that, but I'm not, I'm not, you know, being precise about it. Also, for the hole, um, I know it's going to be kind of hard to cut because, well, obviously it's a circle and it's really small. So sometimes, again, if you have a stencil, it would really work for this. I mean, it's really sharp and you can kind of cut slightly. It won't be that, well, you have to be very careful because it will tear the cardboard. So normally, like for me, I mean, if you have a a paper puncher, you know those um silver things you use and you use to punch like you know paper, so you can do, use that as a foil leaf. I suggest using one of those because it'd be really, really easy. You know, you just keep using it until you make the circle like perfect in the middle. So I think you should preferably use that if you can get one. A little thicker because this is really thin. If you want it thicker, you could maybe make two or three more of this and then glue them together. That that would work really well. You can glue them together and then, um, yeah, I think it would work well, you know. But like I said, this is really, really cheap version. If you really want something more, I don't know, you know, um, to last longer and stuff like that. Well, before I was mentioning the cardboard and everything, so, um, yeah. I mean, I was mentioning the, the board, yeah, the board, the, the piece of wood, sorry. Ugh, oh, I'm talking about her craziness. Anyways, but yeah, I mean, normally for like an event, it's like, what, one day? So, I don't think you really need anything really that strong. But I guess it's up to you. <laughs> 